Hi, I'm Mrs. Freilich. Today we're going to do a very fun activity and we're going to make jack-o'-lanterns out of a plain white piece of paper. So let's get started. The supplies that you'll need for this particular project are a white unlined piece of paper or orange construction paper, colored pencils or crayons, a black marker, and scissors. To make our little jack-o'-lanterns, you can use white paper or construction paper and have something so that you don't have to color the whole thing orange. So, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take a whole sheet of paper and you're gonna fold it in half, hamburger fold, matching up the corners, corner to corner, and then flatten out the crease. Then you're going to fold it over one more time, corner to corner, matching up the edges, and then flatten out the crease. Then what you're going to do is open it up, and you're going to cut with your scissors along the line, like so, until you get four strips of paper. And then after you get four strips of paper, what you're going to do is you're going to lay them out and then you're going to take a black marker like this and you're going to draw any face you want. You can use shapes like a triangle for his eyes. You could use like a square for his nose and maybe a crescent like this or half circle for his mouth. And then you just fill it in until it's all black and then you're all done. And it's approximately in the center. Then you're gonna take some tape and you're going to pull out a strip. You're going to circle it up like this and then you're just gonna tape it right down the middle to hide that seam and voila. You have a pumpkin. But another little trick that you can do for these pumpkins, look at all the different expressions you can use. You can use all kinds of shapes, right? Now that you've made different expressions and are ready to go forward with this, what you're going to do is go ahead and take one of them. You can use a brown pencil, colored pencil or crayon, and you're just gonna draw segments because pumpkins have segments on them. If you look real closely at them, you'll see that they have little lines that go from top of the pumpkin all the way to the bottom. So what you'll do next is take some tape and you're going to roll them up so that they are like that, match up the edges, Put the tape on it so that it covers the seam and then you can stand it up like this and it'll look like that. So I'll do another one so that you can see. You take your face and then you add the segments. You could just draw lines down because that's what pumpkins look like. Take another piece of tape and then you roll them up like so, match it up, seal the end, and you're good to go. So now you have a wide variety of pumpkins that are smiling on your shelf. So I hope you have fun making your little pumpkins. You could put them on your desk, on the windowsill, or anywhere in the house. So I hope you have a happy Halloween. Bye-bye.